Okay, so we're going to have a look at standard form calculations. So grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, make some notes, and we'll see what we make of this. So work out 3 times 10 to the power of 4, multiply it by 5 times 10 to the power of 3, give your answer in standard form. So let's have a look. So this number 3 times 10 to the 4 would be 3 with 4 zeros underneath. 5 times 10 to the 3 would be 5 with 1, 2, 3 zeros. And we'd have to multiply these together. Now 3 times 5, the numbers at the start would give us 15, and then we'd add on all these zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 zeros. So we'd get our answer, and then we could convert it back into standard form. So we could hop our decimal back in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we could write it would be 1.5 times 10 to the 8. There we go. Now that is our answer there, and that is a final answer, but we're going to have a look at a little trick, a little way that we can avoid having to do all of this bit of process here, and a little trick to actually speed this process up a little bit. So let's get rid of all of this. We know what the answer is going to be. If we get rid of this, let's have a look at another way we can approach this. So what we can do is just look at these numbers at the start, bearing in mind that we know what these numbers are. We could just do the 3 and multiply it by the 5. And 3 times 5 gives us 15. So we know it's going to be 15. So if we start to put it straight into standard form, we can say, all right, okay, well, 15 times 10 to the power of something. And if we look at these powers here, we've got a power of 4 in this one and a power of 3 up in this one. Let's get rid of that so you can see it. Now, when we're multiplying with powers and we have the same base numbers, and we have the same base numbers here, they're both a 10, we can add the powers together. So 4 plus 3 will equal 7, which is quite nice and quick. 3 times 5 is 15. Add the powers. 4 add 3 is the power of 7. So we're almost there at an answer here, but obviously this is not in standard form because this number at the start is not between 1 and 10. Well, this is really nice and easy to convert back to standard form, though. So if I want to make this a number between 1 and 10, I make 15 one place value smaller. I make it 1.5. And to balance that out, because I've made the number one place smaller, I'm going to make the power one place bigger. So rather than being a 7, it'll be an 8. Okay, so multiplying the first two numbers give us 15, adding the powers give us 7, and then we balanced it out. So making the 15 one place value smaller here, and then making the power one place value bigger. So 1.5 times 10 to the 8, and that's quite nice and quick. Let's have a look at another one and see if we can do the same. Okay, so looking at this one, 4 times 10 to the 5 times 3 times 10 to the minus 2. And this is an example of one where we probably won't want to write this out as ordinary numbers and work them out because it might get a little bit overcomplicated here. But let's look at applying that same little trick. So let's do the 4 times the 3, which gives us 12. And that's going to be times 10 to the power of something. I've just got to be a little bit careful here because although we can add these powers, let's just have a look because one of them's a negative. So the powers, if I write this to the side, we're going to do 5, the first power. And we're going to add the next power, which is negative 2. And 5 plus negative 2 is 5 take away 2. So my power there is going to be 3. So that's fine. 12 times 10 to the power of 3. And again, we just need to put this in standard form because this 12 is not between 1 and 10. So instead, we'll make that one jump smaller. We'll make it 1.2. And to balance that out, we'll make the power one jump bigger. So 3 goes up to 4. And there's our final answer. 1.2 times 10 to the 4. One more question before we have a go. So 4.3 times 10 to the minus 5 times 3 times 10 squared, again giving your answer in standard form. So we can apply the same little trick again. We've got 4.3 times 3. If you've not got a calculator here, we could just, we could just add together three 4.3s. We're timesing it by 3, so 4.3, 4.3, and another 4.3, 369, and then 4.812. So we get 12.9. So 4.3 times 3 is 12.9 times 10 and let's figure out what that power is going to be so that first power is negative 5 and we're going to add 2 to that so negative 5 add 2 is negative 3 so my power there is going to be negative 3 again it's not in standard form though so I'm going to have to balance it out so I'm going to make the number one jump smaller down to 1.29 I'm going to make the power one jump bigger so bigger than one bigger than negative 3 is negative 2 getting closer to zero there so there's our final answer. Just following the same process, building it up in difficulty, we did 4.3 times 3. I used a little bit of working out to the side, which is absolutely fine to do. Then we balanced it out, so we made the number at the start one place value smaller, balanced it with making the power one jump bigger. Just watch out there when it is a negative power there, making it one bigger would not go down to negative 4, that would be going smaller, so we are going up to negative 2 to make it bigger. And here's some for you to have a go at.
Okay, so there's four questions. Pause the video there, have a go, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Okay, so the first one, four times six is 24, times 10 to the power of, add the powers, five plus three is eight, and then write in our answer in standard form. So 2.4, making the number smaller, and then making that eight up to a nine. 2.4 times 10 to the nine. On to the next one, three times six is 18, times 10 to the power of, add these powers, and we've got seven add negative three, and seven add negative three is four, seven take away three. So 18 times 10 to the four. Again, making the number one jump smaller, 1.8, and then making the power one jump bigger, so up to a five, so 1.8 times 10 to the five. Okay, so on to the next one. Eight times three is 24, times 10 to the power of, adding these powers, we have two plus minus five, or two plus negative five, which is two take away five, which is negative three. So 24 times 10 to the negative three. Making the number smaller again, so 2.4, and then making the power bigger, so from negative three, that would go up to negative two. And there's our final answer. And on to the last one, 3.4 times four. We're gonna have, let's have a look, let's do four of those. We could multiply this as by multiplying decimals, but I'm just gonna go for 3.4, and I'm gonna add together four of them. So three lot, four lots of 3.4 gives me 4, 8, 12, 16, carry the one, put your decimal place in, 3, 6, 9, 12, plus the one, 13. So 13.6 times 10 to the power of, and let's say we've got negative three, add seven. Negative three add seven is four, so 10 to the power of four. And again, balancing it out, so making that number smaller, 1.36, and making the power one jump bigger, so times 10 to the five. Right, perfect. Let's have a look at what happens when we're dividing. Okay, so we've got the same process here, except we're doing a divide. So have a look, we've got eight times 10 to the seven divided by four times 10 to the three. Again, giving our answer in standard form. So all I'm gonna do this time is rather than multiplying these numbers, I'm gonna divide them. So eight divided by four is two. And we've got times 10 to the power of them, because we're doing a divide here. And when we've got the same base numbers and we're dividing, we subtract the powers. So seven, take away three, you can write this to the side, equals four. So two times 10 to the four. On to the next one. Same process again. We've got three divided by six though. So let's do this to the side. Three divided by six, let's write that as a fraction. Three divided by six, if we simplify that, goes down to one half. So to keep this as a number rather than a fraction, I'm gonna write that as 0 0.5. So over here we have 0 0.5 of three divided by six. And then we've got that times 10 to the power of, and again, subtracting the powers on these. So we've got three take away and negative two on the second one, and three take away negative two turns into a plus. So we have three plus two, which gives us a power of five for this one. So we have 0 0.5 times 10 to the power of five. And again, we can balance this out because it needs to be in standard form, but this time to make 0 0.5 between one and 10, we make it one place value bigger to make it five. And if we make the number bigger, the opposite this time for the power, we make the power smaller. So five drops down to a four. So five times 10 to the four. So a similar process, but here we had to make the number bigger. So we made the power smaller. Okay, here's four questions for you to have a go at. So pause the video, have a go. Do write all your answers in standard form. Just remember, if you need to do working out to do that to the side. Okay, so pause the video and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Okay, the first one. Eight divided by two is four and 10 to the power of three take away 10 to the power of two is 10 to the power of one. So there we go, four times 10 to the power of one, which you could just write as four times 10, but we'll leave that power of one in there. And there's our final answer. On to the next one, six divided by three is two, and we've got 10 to the power of, let's have a look, we've got three take away negative two. So three take away negative two is five, three plus two. So we have two times 10 to the five, final answer. On to the next one, four divided by eight, so four divided by eight, again, is a half, or 0 0.5. So we've got 0 0.5 times 10 to the power of negative three, take away two. Negative three, take away two is negative five. So 0 0.5 times 10 to the negative five. Same process again, let's make that number bigger. So five times 10 to the power of, we made the number bigger, so we make the power smaller. So that goes down to negative six. So it's five times 10 to the negative six. And then the last one here, nine divided by three is three. And then we've got the powers. What have we got? We've got negative five take away 
negative two. So negative five, take away negative two, these turn into a plus. So it's negative five, add two, which is negative three. So two negatives in the power there, so just be careful, it's negative five, take away negative two, and that ends up turning into a plus two. So three times 10 to the negative three, and we've got nothing to worry about there about balancing that out because it's between one and 10, and there's our final answer. Right, before we finish, I've got one question to show you. Okay, so here's the last question. So work out 7.5 times 10 to the seven over three times 10 to the three. This is no different really to the ones we just looked at, remembering that that line there in the fraction just means divide. So we could actually write this out. We don't need to write it out, it's just remembering what it means. We could write it out as 7.5 times 10 to the seven divided by three times 10 to the three. So it means exactly the same thing, but let's have a look at this one because we've got 7.5 that we've got to divide by three. So 7.5 divided by three, how could we work that out? You might know that in your head. If you don't, we can always apply a little bit of bus stop if we've got to do a division. So threes into seven go twice with a remainder of one, copy the decimal up there, and then threes into 15 go five. So 7.5 divided by three is 2.5. So we have 2.5 times 10, and let's work out that power. So we have seven take away three, which is four. So it's 2.5 times 10 to the four as a final answer. There we go, something a little bit different there, where you've got to do a bit of a division to the side. It looks a little bit different, but it means the same thing, and we follow the same process. So there we go, that's the end of standard form calculations. If you like the video, if it's helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.